Hey guys, it's Killer Kill 360 back with another video. And today I'm doing a new brand new what if. What if Ryoko Motoi was in One Piece? And I hope y'all guys enjoy this. Um I know it's been a minute since I started, you know, making a new video. I was just burnt out. I just wanted to take a, a week or two off. So yeah, enough of that. Let's get into the story. Okay. Um so Ryoko, they um Defeated their mom, right? Um, um, Sasuke and um, Ryoko defeated their mom, and as they, as Ryoko was heading back to Earth, um, a portal has opened up and sucked Ryoko right into the portal, and she is not. She got knocked out, and she wakes up, and it's Nami, Luffy, and Zoro on the um sh the little ship that they have. And, um, this is all before they meet Sanji and, um, Usopp, okay? So, they, like, Ryoko wakes up. She's like, what the hell happened? My head. Sasuke, are you there? And she looks at her, her body. And there's nothing there. And as she wakes up, she's like, what happened to my clothes? This is not what I was wearing when I was, when I was in space in space you sound crazy lady says um luffy i swear i just was fighting my mom up in space she's so evil i hope we won and nami's like lady what what the hell are you talking about you just appeared on our ship so ryoko's like wait what what type of era what time period are we in and they say in their own, like where, like what year it is in her mind, in her, in her face, they tell her what year it is. And she's like, what? No way, no way. The multiverse theory is true? <laughs> you know how Ryoko breaks the fourth wall? She's like, Nami and them is like, what the hell is the multiverse theory? Oh, never mind, never mind. So it seems like I'm in a different dimension, says Ryoko, because she's smart like that. Well, some reason, I still feel Sucket's with me, but he's not physically on my body. It's more like he's a part of me. Interesting. So, uh, guys, let me explain how it works. So, pretty much, Sucket became like a devil fruit, okay? He reincarnated into a devil fruit. So, she knows she has all the powers that... Um, comes with Sesset. I'm sorry, guys. If I mispronounce the name of his name wrong, I can't say his name for my life. I'm sorry. So, to just make it simple for me, let's call him. Let's just call him Sasuke, okay? Just for short, okay? I know it's not his real name, but I can't say his real name to save my life, okay? Please forgive me. So, meanwhile, I'm just going to call him Sasuke, okay? It's just much easier for me to say, alright? So, I hope y'all don't get mad at me or triggered, okay? So, anyway, she feels like, okay, I can still use all my powers. And she realized, and she looked to the right of her, Zoro's like, yo, what kind of blade is that? It's a scissor blade, says Ryoko. Never heard of a scissor blade. You mind if I take a look at it? Sure. So she throws the, the um, scissor blade. Zoro catches it. And he's like, yo, this thing is extremely heavy. It's like at least 300 pounds. Yeah. It's pure metal. And you almost slice through anything. Huh. Interesting. You want to spar? Says um, Zoro. Nami's like, yo, guys. Can we just get to the next island before y'all destroy the small boat that we already have? Alright, 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 alright. So, they head over where Usopp is. Luffy comes, you know, he hops off the boat and stuff. He introduces himself to Ryoko. I'm like the captain of the crew. Um, You know, we could drop you off at the next island. Huh. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, let me go to the next island. I don't know nothing about this world she says on her head. But maybe I can figure things out. So, they get off at the next island. 
Usopp and Luffy. I mean, Luffy still does the badass moment where he's like, guns are not for um, shows about action. So, he says that to um, Usopp. Usopp gets scared, and Luffy walks right past him. And he's like, yo, I know who your dad is. Your dad is Yasop, right? He's like, oh, how you know my dad? Well, I used to be good friends with them at the time. So Usopp is like, oh, okay, okay. So they used to hang out in your own village as well. Yeah, says Luffy. Well, we came here to look for a new ship, if anything like that. You know anybody that can build a ship? Uh, yeah, follow me, guys. Um, so they head over to, um... So they head off to Kaya place. On their way walking here, Luffy's like, so, Ryoko, what are your plans? You gonna, you know, figure things out? Like, what are you gonna do? Because I'm trying to be king of the pirates. And it looks like you're a pretty sword, like swordswoman. Like a good swordswoman. Yeah, I yeah, am, says um, Ryoko. Huh. I would like to test that out after we get done looking for our boat and stuff. Yeah, sure, no problem, Zoro. I'll I do you. So, Ryoko and Zoro is, like, kicking it. Um, Nami's like, okay. So, how far is this place again? It's like, Nami, it's right there, says Usopp. So, they get to, um, Kaya's place, right? Um, Kaya's like, oh, who are these people? Let me introduce them. This is Straw Hat Luffy. This is Nami. This is Zoro. And this is Ryoko. Hello, says all of them. Nice to meet y'all, says Kaya. So, what brings y'all to my, my place? Do you know any way or anyone that can build a good boat for us? Um, yeah. And then the, the cat, um, the butler comes is like, Get lost, y'all pirate scum. Huh. And Ryoko's like, something's off about you. And, and he's like, what do you mean by that? Seems like my gut is telling me, you're a very bad person. I've dealt with somebody like you before. You hide behind the shadows and waiting to strike. And he's like, yo, how the hell is she reading me like that, like a book? Well, it's just a hunch. But, yo, Luffy, Zoro, Nami, uh, just let's come back later. Uh, this, this go, just trust me on this one, okay? Uh, we all go. We want to get a bowl. Guys, just trust me. Alright, alright, alright. So, Luffy, you know, he's like, he want to see where this is going. Because he's interested in, um, Ryoko to join his crew. So, he wants to see how good... You know how our intuition is, right? So, yo, guys, just follow me up here. Hide in the trees, right? And uh, Ryoko grabs Nami, right? So she um picks up Nami and they go in the tree. And they, like, while we in the tree, this is why. Just look. And so the butler leaves the mansion, right? And he heads over to the um shade, the um shack. And he's talking to... His other pirate crewmates. See, this is why I knew he was shady. The way he was acting was not right. Huh. Not bad, Ryoko, says Luffy. So, can we go down there and kick his ass? I mean, I don't see why not. So, they all freaking... Zoro and um, Ryoko slice the freaking shed down. And he's like, damn it, they found us out. So, let me guess, you pirate trash, says Luffy. He was planning to steal this innocent young, well, not young, innocent female for her fame and her gold, right? That low lives. Because she's, you know, Luffy feels some type of way because she's sick. And they try to take advantage of her. Well, for that, I gotta kick your ass. So, um... Ryoko and Zoro ends up fighting the right hands to um, the cat um, pirate. And Luffy fights the main character. And little to say, 
they beat the shit out of them. Like, literally beat the shit out of all of them. Like, it's a curve stomp, okay? And Kaya's like, oh my god, I didn't even know there was pirates. Yeah, you gotta be careful, okay, Kaya? Says Ryoko um, and Usopp. Well, you don't have to worry about them. We kicked them off the island. So, can we now get back to uh, getting our boat? Yeah, no problem. And free of charge. No, you don't have to, to pay me for it. I can just take it. Thank you so much, Kaya, says everybody. And they fare her well. And this is Ryoko's power. I'm Wait, I'm adding this? So, it made things interesting. Ryoko knows that she's sick. So, she gives... Kaya some of her life fibers to fight the disease. This is say because you know Ryoko is resistant to diseases and stuff because she's a full life fiber person, okay? So she gives her fibers to I know that sounds wrong, but she gives her fibers to Kaya. And Kaya gets better over time. So it's like so Luffy's like Everybody wait. And Ryoko's like, you know, coming down the hill. And he says this right now. Luffy says this right now. Are you going to join my crew? I would love to have you on my crew. Says, um, Luffy. You know what? It sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, I joined the crew, Luffy. And, you know, they, they celebrate and all of that. Um, Zoro was like, I want to be the strongest swordsman in the whole world. It's my dream. And it's going to become a reality. Hey, I like your style, Zoro, says Ryoko. And he's like, we still didn't even get to spar. I mean, we could spar after we get to the next island. No problem, Zoro. I know we have to fight the pirates, but I'm looking forward to our duel. So, Ryoko and Zoro is going to duel, right? So... They on their way to, like, they, they on a the ship, and then they see these two people that are stranded on a little piece of wood and stuff. And then they jump on a pirate um ship, right? And Luffy's like, who the hell are y'all guys? Give us your ship right now. And then Zoro looks at them. Wait, I know y'all too. What's up, guys? Zoro, what are you doing on here? Well, I became a pirate. What? And then they let's try smooth make a smooth transition. They're like, oh, okay, let's see how it is. All right, man, if you say so. But they know they can't be Zoro. They get clapped. Um, so they like Luffy's like, yo, is there anywhere that we can get something good to eat? They're like, yeah, it's this ship called the Biatia. They make the world's greatest food, huh? Let's go! Let's Nami, can you take us there, Nami? Yeah, no problem. So they head over to the Bratier. They get to the Bratier. They see a Marine get kicked flying out the whole Bratier. They're like, damn. Sanji sees Nami and um Ryoko and he go Google Gaga for them. So <laughs> they're like <laughs> And they all walk inside. He's like, can I serve y'all? And Luffy's like, give us everything that you got. Alright. So, you know, he cooks it up. Makes everything for them. They eat it all. They pay for it. Then, Rookus comes in. and No, not Rookus. Concrete. Not bad. Sorry, guys. Concrete comes in. Demanding for food and all of that. So, they give him the food. And then he tries to betray them, and Ryoko is not having none of this. Not even Luffy. Ryoko, Ryoko and Luffy got up, and it's like, you disrespectful fucking pig. This guy fed you when you was at your lowest, and now you're trying to take his ship away from him? Y'all are a disgrace to be pirates. You said it, Luffy. And then... Ryoko and um, Luffy just punches Gon Creek right out. And his whole crew attacks Ryoko. Ryoko's like, I got this, um, Luffy. You go fight Gon Creek. So everything happens in canon. Luffy ends up beating Gon Creek. 
destroy him completely. Um, Ryoko destroys the father, like, pretty easily, remind you. Now, let me get over Ryoko's power, okay? Let me just power scale her real quick. She, she's nerfed. I know she's like, she just fought her mom, so she should be OP, right? No, I'm, ner I'm nerfing her, because then the story wouldn't make sense afterwards if I just kept her at her current strength. So right now, she's like, she can destroy a whole city. Let's just say it like that, okay? It reset her powers, alright? Alright, enough of that. Let's get back to the story. So they beat him, and then you hear a huge swing, and one of the ships gets sliced in two. And um, Nihawk is coming through, and Ryoko is like, yo, his aura, his presence, who is he? And Zoro's like, that's the world's strongest swordsman, Nihawk, Dragnail. Huh. So, Zoro's like, I'm gonna go down here and challenge him to a duel. Ryoko's like, alright, Zoro, be careful. So, you know, everything happens to Cannon. He beats Zoro. And then he looks at Ryoko. He's like, that's an interesting blade you got there. i never seen nothing like it before. Yeah. Something I've made. Nobody would know about it. Huh. So, also, are you also a swordswoman as well? Yeah, I am. Can I duel you in a battle, says Nihon. And she's like, sure. Now she's sweating because she just seen Zoro get absolutely eviscerated, right? So she's like, this guy is no joke. At the current strength I'm at now, could be a, a very big problem. So, you know, she, they duel. And um, Nihawk is like, wow, you're very strong for a woman. What that supposed to mean? Nah, I never came across such strong women like you before in my life. Surprisingly, you're kind of pushing me to use more of my strength. Zoro only can't, he didn't really make me use my strength like you are. And that's a blow to Zoro. Like, a low key blow. Because Nihawk is kind of trying against. Um, I know y'all are like, nah, he's wilding. But she's. He's kind of trying against Ryoko, but Ryoko's not, like, she's trying hard to even keep up with him. So it's like a 50-50, and he ends up beating Ryoko. Um, she gets slashed um, in her chest, like um, Zoro did, because she has a pride as a swordswoman. Let's just say she has a pride like that, and she gets sliced like that, but the only difference is she regenerates. So he's like, did you eat a devil fruit? Ryoko's like, no, her head. Because she doesn't want to tell him, like, her, really her backstory like that. So she goes with, yeah, I, I ate the regeneration fruit. That's just a cover-up. Huh. Interesting. Well, when you get stronger, please challenge me again. The both of y'all. I'm looking forward to it. And he leaves. Nami freaking ditches them. And, um, but, yeah, I think I'm going to end it there, guys. I know it's been a minute, but other than that, guys, kill I kill, signing off, peace.